So I wanted to start this vlog by mentioning how awesome it is that the conspiracy videos have been getting so many views. Good morning, Thailand. So what cut internet? It has been a while. Let's go practice some yoga. Hey, Georgie. What you doing, cleaning house? <laughs> my routine the past couple weeks has been waking up at five or six o'clock in the morning and then I get to do like a two to two and a half hour practice with Costa and every time psychedelic trip during Shavasana I lay there at the end I don't know where my consciousness goes it's so magical <laughs> is there a little path to enlightenment every day <laughs> So normally when I stay at Vacasa, I'm really lazy and I take my bike and ride it around and never take the stairs. But since the past couple weeks I've been training so hard, I've been actually walking up the stairs like three or four times a day, which has been extremely intense, but extremely beneficial. I can just, if I do it right in the morning, I can feel my heart. I'm getting good exercise. These are treacherous. Happy to be getting a small workout each day. Ah, yes. So I wanted to start this vlog by mentioning how awesome it is that the conspiracy videos have been getting so many views. Astronomical amount. More views than I've ever gotten on my channel in any other videos that I've made. Let me show you here. So last time I uploaded a vlog, my subscriber count was like 11,000, 11 and a half K. It's now at 13.4 thousand new subscribers. And let's see, Conspiracy Corner got 1.3 K, 2.6 K, and the one that has just blown my mind is, oh my gosh, it's gotten even more. So the video right here, the first of the conspiracy theories was why I decided to leave America, the 5G implementation and COVID-19, and it has 54,000 views. I get comments every day from it. See the like to dislike ratio is 2.6K to 84. So there's 84 sleepy souls out there that don't like this video, but it's only been less, it's been like a little over two weeks and I cannot believe how many comments and, yeah, just wanted to extend a quick thank you to all of the new subs. Welcome to the channel. I hope you guys can enjoy other things besides conspiracies that I share here. There's yoga videos, guided meditations, video blogs, and my professional film stuff that, I, that I've been working on. So, welcome. Thank you. I also have changed into a new room since my previous vlog that I made, so I want to give you guys a little proper room tour. Let's go GoPro mode so you guys can get the full experience. Ready? And activate. So out here, this is the entrance here. Welcome to MTV Cribs, Kosamui Vikasa style. If you guys walk out here, here's the path to the swimming pool. Unfortunately, the swimming pool is closed right now under maintenance and the ocean view is right over there. There's the yoga sala as well. And on my patio here, I got like a nice little chair, nice little chill area. And as I walk inside, here's my, uh, here's my enema bag. <laughs> I hang this right here to dry. And here's my workstation. I got like a nice little window so I can bring in some natural light. Here's my power charging station, my Oracle cards. And this is kind of like where I've been doing all my work and editing. It's so nice. I actually have a functioning table and chair. Here's my lovely bed. It's like a double California king size, so I have lots of room to roll around. <laughs> Here's my little guitar here in the corner. Uh, my Nintendo Switch that I haven't touched since I arrived. I've been having massive dopamine detox, not playing video games, which has been really nice. I miss wrecking my friends, but it's really nice not to be so hooked on video games. I've been playing a lot of guitar instead. Right here is another giant window to open natural light and it's another view to the pool. People are walking by here, so I usually close this if I'm walking around naked. Here is my little dresser cabinet. I put all my clothing and stuff. Over here is my refrigerator. 
all I have pretty much is a bunch of water, um, some kombucha, apple cider vinegar, all the necessities. Right here is uh, my safe, my journal. Here's like my water station where I make tea and stuff. Got lots of ginger, and aloe vera, and of course my immortality tea. Over here I got seeds. Here's my coffee enema stuff. Psyllium husk, bentonite clay. This cleanse has really changed my life. My digestive tract has been working better than ever before. Here's where I put all my suitcases and stuff. And then over here is the bathroom. I got a big ass shower now, which is amazing. I forgot to dry off my neti pot. Oops. And it's really nice having a, a lot of space to, to be me and do myself. And of course, here's my yoga mat. So yeah, that's the room tour. It's definitely an upgrade and I'm loving it. Full of gratitude. Uh, so in, in addition to doing yoga every day for two and a half hours, I've also been doing 20 to 22 hour fasts. And I've only been eating fruits. I've been doing fruit, I've been having like one or two salads per week, but only eating fruits. And I've been reading this book called The Mucusless Diet and Healing System, and also Rational Fasting by Arnold Eret. Fruits are of divine intelligence, and if you eat just only fruits. It helps like dislodge old hardened mucus that has been sitting in the body from years of wrong eating. And so just eating fruits allows it to break apart all of the, the stuck hardened stuff. I'm actually very surprised at the stuff that's been coming out of my butt. <laughs> if you're feeling a little constipated or a little blocked, I really recommend just eating fruits. I've been doing dragon fruits and mangoes and passion fruits and papaya and pineapple. I highly recommend. I feel incredible. Look at this. So beautiful. It just smells so wonderful, full of seeds. The taste is like unreal. Look at this, so much prana in there. You are what you eat. Like your body is made up of the stuff that you put in your body, so make sure you put good stuff in there. Real salt and papaya and pineapple. This has been like my meal every day with this beautiful view. I got no complaints to be honest. This, our little quarantine bubble is quite nice. Becky for cutting my mango. Thanks so much, peace off. <laughs> <laughs> to say a quick thing about discipline. During practice today, I was like feeling really hungry. I'm like, oh, I wanna eat, I wanna eat. And just like daydreaming about breakfast the whole time. I'm like, it'd be so good to eat a salad right now. And then by the end of practice, I got to walk by the salad bar and I looked at it and I decided that no, I was not gonna eat. Cause normally if I eat during the day, I get so tired, sluggish. It takes all of my energy from my body to, to digest food. And, I don't get anything done if I eat, so I'm glad that I walked by and every time that you like reinforce your discipline in yoga, they call it tapas, feeling the heat and becoming stronger mentally and physically. So I feel like I just got some like tapas points. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna get a little changed and I really wanna make a conspiracy video today. And I was also thinking about that during my class too. I was like, I was just like so worried about, I don't know, the pseudoscience guys that are gonna try to contest all the information that I'm sharing. I was like, maybe I'll just stay quiet and not make these videos anymore. But then I kind of, well, I was on the, on the flip side, I'm like, oh, a lot of people have been impacted positively by my videos. After practice, I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I must do it. I have to do it. It's like my karmic duty at this moment to wake up my wake up my friends and present new information that will, you know, shake things up a little bit. Audio, GoPro. I'm feeling a lot of apprehension. I'm feeling a little nervous, but I'm just I'm just gonna go do it. I'm just gonna wing it. That's how I've done it the past three episodes, and it always comes out pretty decent, I gotta say. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to my, my little secret morning yoga spot. Right there. And let's just do it. I'm just gonna get to it. Just got that done. I was kind of all over the place. It was really hard. I've been wanting to, yeah, I've been really uh, trying to figure out how to present this information because I don't have all my dots in order. Hopefully I can clean it up in post when I do the editing. I think I got all my thoughts out. Hopefully I'll be able to make a little sense of it. Pray that this information will, will help some people out there. Oh, so today's laundry day. 
Fortunately, during the quarantine, there's a laundry spot right across the street from Picasa. Unfortunately, I have to do it myself. Oh man, so I've literally been ending every single day since I got here with the massage. I usually get like a foot massage if I'm full or I'll get a Thai massage right here if I'm feeling empty. This project that Costa and I are working on is probably the largest project I've done in a quite some time. Two and a half terabytes of footage gathered in the past 10 days. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty non-stop. Get a massage, call it an early night, and do it all again tomorrow. Saturday, I just got done editing the conspiracy videos and I'm just a little nervous to put this on the internet. Once it's out there, it's out of my hands. I think I'm gonna also wrap this vlog up. All the music in the video today was made by my roommate Dalton Campbell. So if you guys wanna check him out on SoundCloud, I will link his profile in the description. He's been definitely producing a lot of music lately, so big ups to my boy. Thank you again to all the new subs here. So happy to have you here. Let me know in the comments what you guys want me to talk about because this life is really interesting, and we're living in interesting times, and I'm happy that we're all together. I'll see you guys in the next one.